hello guys hope you all are doing good and today i came back with one more video in power automate that is how to generate a pdf from sharepoint list column values using power automate cloud flow first let me show you how the flow will works and how it will generate the pdf from sharepoint list column value the expense claim details so the employee name is grady archie here as well as in the employee cost details i have taken grady achi and let's save the item in employee cost details as well as in the exit grid view in expense claim details now the flow will trigger and it will run let's go back to the flow here as you can see here the flow starts running and let it run successfully uh, it ran successfully and uh, let us so as you can see here the pdf has been generated by using the sharepoint list column values when you open this pdf you can see all the column values here what we have entered in both the sharepoint list so before going to how how to design this pdf generation flow i wanted I wanted to show you something this you can have a look at our courses if you are interested you can go and uh, start with our course guidance it's a complete package of power platform where it can include sharepoint online development and spfl all the things whatever it is displaying here you will get under this course and the course was developed by mr bj and he was a microsoft mvp i will provide link to this course in the video description where you can have a detailed look so you can go and check out this page what you get in this course and have a detailed look on this course so let's back to our flow before designing the flow i wanted uh, to show the requirements and whatever the sharepoint list and library i have used to build this flow here i have taken expense claim details list this is a master list and employee cost details list and one more is admin options list and this last one is expense claim pdf documents where after generating the pdfs we will store this pdfs in the document library expense claim details is a master list where it contains this many columns employee name and department job title budget code reimbursement type bank title bank address bank account number and bank code expense type claim submission type and uh, submission method hr em employees digital signature hr digital signature and claim status value and hr reviews on this expense details in the same way i have the employee cost details where suppose whenever an employee wants to claim his or her expense from this from their organization he should he should need to fill the cost details of his expenses here and after that he needs to raise a request to the hr team in the employee claim details list this were the two list i have taken for expense claim details and for the storing employee expense cost details i have used employee cost details list along with this two list i have also taken this admin options list to generate the pdf and this is a id prefix column this with this id prefix column i will generate in the expense claim details claim request id as well as expense request id when it comes to other columns i will use these columns to generate the pdf after generating the pdf as you know that will store the pdfs in the document library so this is our requirement and uh, i will explain the flow that i have designed uh, because to build a flow it is a time consuming so i will just explain and go through the flow when an item is created in the expense claim details take the site address and the list name as well as for storing of the attachments for the requester who is raising the request we were storing that attachments in an array and for as well as same for the approver who will approve that like for the finance team or the hr team there will be attachments for the approval and for the claim request id it is a type of 
aggregate total it is a aggregate total is a float and value will be zero take one more initialize variable for where item id and for the path company name company address finance team email this finance team will be stored in the admin options i have already shown you this admin option there is only one item i will be getting this item from the admin options where the item title value is equals to item 1 then then set the var item id here add the item id from wherever you have stored the initialize variable store the var item id then the path where you can also get it from the admin options same way as from the claim request id this is the id prefix after that regards company address company name finance team email it is an array after that we'll join this the finance team the finance team email is an array with multiple persons so we'll join them with the separator after that we'll be setting the emails of finance team then after that we'll getting attachments from the expense claim details by id get attachment content from expense claim details where then it will add for each for the attachments uh, you can give the id here and file identifier from the get attachments expense claim details and we need to append an array to the attachments for the requester that is after that in the same way we need to append an array for the attachments of the approval we getting items from the employee cost details the claimant full name from employee cost details email is equals to employee full name email adding an item here it won't generate the id after adding an item only it will generate the id so the title value will be null so i will be giving the filter query as claimant full name email is equals to uh, expense claim details employee email and title value is equals to the null in employee cost details so this is the filter query we are giving here uh, we will take the random number function for generating of the id because uh, to generate claim request id uh, it should need to be a unique uh, it should need to be a unique so i have taken random function here after that i will be concatenating with the id prefix with the random number so it will generate that claim request id after that this is the employee cost details the employee cost details here will be the expense amount and the exchange rate exchange rate in accordance with the expense currency type if it is uh, for example if we have chosen here the expense currency as usd and we want the amount in exchange rate here as 85.73 because 1 dollar is equals to 85.73 so we were multiplying the expense amount with the exchange rate then it will give the total amount and the aggregate rate will be if a person same person for example if the grady archi have uh, has created an item for the accommodation has chosen the type as expense classification accommodation as well as she has created one more item with the uh, flight expenses then the aggregate amount will be combining both the items and it will it will calculate and display here this is the thing we have done in this employee cost details this is the total amount we have multiplied it with the expense amount and the exchange rate and aggregate total we have added the uh, two items that is aggregate total and the float amount guys in the first initialize variable i have shown you the float outputs of the total amount and the var aggregate total so we were setting that var aggregate total with the body of 
compose aggregate total and updating the employee cost details whenever an employee creates whenever whenever an employee creates a request here the uh, expense request id is null after this we have generated the id and now we have to update the id here whatever we have generated the compose claim request id we update the expense request id as well and in the total amount take the compose total outputs and in the aggregate total take outputs of aggregate total then we need to get items where title is equals to a title it represents uh, here in the expense claim details whenever these both titles match we should get to that we need to get that items by taking the values of this get items because these are the because these items are recently generated items and we have to update that items in a html table after that i have taken this initialize variable expense cost details because to show it in a tabular format in to show it in a tabular format and sequence format in a teams after that this is for the table expense cost table header and we'll be appending it to the string as you can uh, expenses table header from the initialize variable then then after that to generate the pdf i have taken css here for the table and i was sending an http request to the sharepoint list to get the uh, list items by get by title admin options and items where item id with the item id i was getting the item and the company logo after that i was passing the json from this uh, http request whenever we pass the json here then it will get the company name company logo from that parse json i have taken one more parse json after that i have passed the schema here then it will get the company logo from that admin options logo get file content using path here i have used some functions to get the file path from expense uh, claim details but you can also but you can also uh, choose it from open folder to get that path after that for the signature of the approver have taken initialize variable and uh, same for the hr emails it is a string and multi people picker column so we were selecting the column email because it is an array and joining the array with the separator and setting that variable for the and setting hr emails for the initialize variable i will be taking the conditions here where the condition submission method is equals to offline suppose if the submission method is offline then it will update the expense claim detail where you can see if the submission method is offline then it will update the claim request id as well as uh, have taken html table uh, with some of the function as you if you want i will also provide this i will also provide this html script in our post you can go and check it from there we need to create a file first from html to pdf the folder path we were saving that file and for the file name it should have to be unique so i have taken it from the employee name and and the claim request id dot html and the file content will be body of compose html then we'll be converting that file to the pdf as you can see we were taking this id from create html file then after converting the pdf we were creating the file in the sharepoint document library with the file name and the file content then we were sending this um, email to the employee with the pdf attachment of their expense details then to delete the file from the onedrive we can use the delete file file action from onedrive this is under true condition of course, uh, when it comes to the false condition here when uh, it will be online for the online we will be generating the digital signature uh, for the employee digital signature i have taken 
these functions and then again in the same way under the true condition as like the same way in the true condition we were updating the update item expense details the body uh, title will be expense details and the employees digital signature and the claim status value will be hr pending review will be updating and then we will be sending the email to the employee sending the uh, email to the employee as a new expense claim form is submitted and it was now will review by our hr and uh, attachments for the request then we will be uh, in the online method we will send an approval action for the hr if the hr for the digital signature of the hr this is the uh, this is the functions and when the hr approves when uh, hr approves when outcome is equals to approve then it will send an email to the employee that hr has been approved that expense claim reimbursement then it will update the item as item there that approve in the claim status value as approved by hr and hr digital signature and hr uh, reviewed comments create the pdf file this is the html script with this html file we'll create a file in the one right as like the same way employee name in the body of compose dot html and file content and converting html to pdf generating the file in the expense claim pdf documents and send an email to the finance team because this is the case of online approval this is the case of online submission type so we'll be sending an email to the hr team as well as well as the finance team along with the cc hr email and the employee name that reimbursement has proceeded after generating the file in the one right we can delete the file this is the complete flow and i have already shown you how it will run and how we have to uh, test it manually already seen how it will run at the beginning of the videos and how it will and we will be releasing it as a product if you interested to buy this product and check out our sp guides product page to download this solution that's all for today for more videos and updates please like share and subscribe to our channel thank you